Hi, I'm Andy Souza, underwater photographer and dive brand manager at Light Emotion. Every light can claim certain specifications. However, not all lights meet what's advertised. Testing lights is important because sometimes advertising specifications are not exactly what a product lives up to. To confirm lumens, we use a light integrating sphere, where we record the light output over time. The light integrating sphere measures the total light output from the lighting unit. Whether it's a flashlight or an underwater dive light or a bicycle light, it measures all of the light coming out of the, the unit. Many lights may start with a high lumen output, but quickly fall off. So the way that you can tell on we test lights whether or not a light is regulated is you look at the output lumen graph over time, and if it's a nice straight graph, that indicates that it's regulated. If you see it kind of dip down or curve, you know that that's not a regulated light. When the light is placed underwater, the beam angle narrows by 30 degrees. By adding a dome port, underwater lights can gain back those lost 30 degrees. A well-designed dome in front of the light corrects for the index of refraction change between air and water, such that the beam angle in water will end up being pretty close to the same as it is in air. For wide-angle photography, you want to maximize the beam angle to avoid vignetting and to cover the entire subject, even when using a fisheye lens. For more information on light spec performance, go to retestlights.com.